नमस्ते वर्ल्ड हाउ आई ऑल डूइंग आई एम डूइंग सो ग्रेट एज आई एम ग्रोइंग एंड एवोल्विंग एवरी सिंगल डे एंड टूडे आई वॉन्ट स्पीक अबाउट स्ट्रेस सो फ्रॉम माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस वट डिड आई एक्सपीरियंस एंड बाई द वे दिस इज गोल्ड एंड स्पिरिचुअल टीचर एंड आई एम हेयर टू एक्सपेंड योर माइंड एंड योर कॉन्शियसनेस एंड एट द सेम टाइम ब्रिंग यू बैक टू योर ट्रू सेल्फ so now the stress you know everybody is so stressed out you know because we have to do so much in order to survive on planet earth but when i look into nature there are so many beautiful part of nature that don't have to work to get money they're just living free so for me living free is our birth right you know so now today what's happening is that we have to do so much we have to do so much in order to survive on this earth so every day we are stressed out and at the same time we think a lot we are living our life in an environment that is not making us happy you know some people they are stuck in an environment for a longer period of time and they don't know what to do they're stuck in one job for 20 years 30 years they're just doing the same routine over and over again but let me ask you a question what did you do what did you do for your true self which is your soul did you did any soul work no so now we are stressed out we are not really living in our purpose so now what's happening when we are stressed we are actually disconnecting ourselves we are actually disconnecting ourselves from our true authentic self means that we are not in tune and line with our divine self so called the higher self so called god because when we are in line with god everything can be extremely peaceful and calm and we can live our life in harmony be happy so most of the people i can give you example people who are living in nature like the monks people who are living in nature monks and they are highly spiritual beings who are living in the mountain side they don't have so much but they are still very happy and peaceful because they are in line with their true self they are in line with their higher self only in the silence of nature by practicing all the spiritual work we can be in line with our higher self means when i was meditating for 12 hours every single day for over 10 days after some days i started to experience the authentic self of me which is the soul because the mind and body is what is clouding us so we become more stressful instead of become more peaceful so when we are stressed out we disconnect we are totally disconnected from our true self because our true self is always happy our true self is always in bliss our true self always lives in harmony it knows what to do it knows how to do it know when to do because the higher voices within is activated the mind is extremely crystallized because with loss of crystallized thoughts so now we are vibrating in higher dimension with higher thoughts in our mind so now what is clouding us is actually our thinking mind so when we have loss of negative thoughts when we have loss of lower vibrational thoughts and we think 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 so from those thinking creating emotions in our body so w- with this thinking and the emotion together so we may end up feeling miserable so when we feel miserable our reality going to be miserable we are not going to be happy so now once you understand the ultimate truth is that when we are peaceful means even if you sit in meditation pose only for 5 to 10 minutes you can be in line with your true self in the silence of nature means when you start to take walk barefoot in the forest in nature or maybe sitting under a tree you can feel your true self but make sure to spend more time alone because everything is energy everything is energy that means that when you mingle with too many people too much energy you consume but when you mingle with purest energy of earth which is god creation is nature 
you hear the birds, you hear the wind, you hear the leaves, you see the green, means the nature itself. So now you're going to heal your mind. You're going to heal your heart. So now you're going to tune into your higher self, which is your authentic self. Some people, when they're extremely in their meditative state, they can hear their higher voices that is speaking throughout the heart chakra. All right. So now there are some people who can see unseen things. And I'm speaking from my own experience because without experience, we cannot speak. We cannot know. Only the experience can tell you the true story. So I'm here to share with all how you can experience this. So now the meditation is extremely powerful, powerful. Spending time alone in nature is extremely powerful. Living in the silence of nature is extremely powerful. You got me? So I used to live with the monks. I used to, I meditate every single day. I do yoga. So there are, there are moments that I was meditating every single day for four hours only, only by focusing, only by focusing on one subject. So one single thing. So now when you understand how extremely powerful is the meditation, the meditative state. So now it's going to take you to your higher self and it's going to activate many parts of your brain that's going to give you the DMT consciousness, which is God consciousness. Not only that, when you start to bring yourself to the silence of nature and start to spend more time alone in nature, in the silence of nature, in the heart of green. So now you're going to activate just by breathing the pure prana, which is the vital energy. So which is the air. When you breathe in the fresh oxygen, you are going to activate the DMT consciousness, the God consciousness itself. So now you're going to start to get all of your answer to all of your question from nowhere and you will be mind blown. So now, First of all, you have to let go of all of your stress. And how can you can let go of all of your stress? Only by breathing technique, the pranayama. This is what yoga teaching is about. Yoga have many ways to do. And today I want to give you only one simple, one simple technique that can just give you, bring you in balance. And it's, the, it's one of the breathing techniques. And the greatest breathing techniques is that you start to breathe in and you hold the breath for four seconds. You breathe out and you hold the breath for four seconds. You breathe in, you hold that breath for four seconds. And you do it. You're, you are going to release all of your stress. And at the same time, you are going to let go of all of your negative thoughts. This is just one te technique. And there is also mantra chanting. And I want to give you those mantra chanting. I, have, I did many videos that you can find on my YouTube page. I put the link here. There are many breathing techniques. And this is the easiest breathing technique that you can try in order to release all of your bad thoughts. And at the same time, also, when you spend more time in al alone in nature, this is the same thing going to happen. You don't have to sit in meditative pose in order to think like, okay, I am meditating right now. Oh, no. Even walking is a meditation. Know that. And I, I used to be with the monks. So I know the walking meditation. I know the sitting meditation. Sometimes I get lost in meditation for four hours straight, six hours straight, because it takes me to a state of mind where I feel like that I am one with God, where I can feel the harmony and joy, where there is no stress. There is no negative thoughts. There is no tension about past, about future. I mean the present moment. So only the stress can disconnect you from your higher self, so-called God, which is your soul. The soul is interconnected with God. So now only the stress can bring you that. That's why in meditation with the monks in the temple, I used to walk meditate extremely slow because when I walk slow, when I take everything extremely slow, so now my mind, my body become very slow, means very calm. In this calm state, I can find my true self. With stress, you can't go nowhere. All right. With stress, you cannot go anywhere. So you have to come down and just breathe and leave everything to your highest, highest nature. Just by observe your breathing, you become in this present moment because you are not your past. You are not your future. You are just the present. You don't know what's coming for you. What's gone is gone. 
You are only the present. So you are missing the point. You are missing the present just by not focusing on your breathing. Because in the present, you just breathe. You just let it flow. You just let it go. You just live your life. You popped out from nowhere. Now we are in this reality, which is illusion anyway. I can speak all day long, but you have to experience by yourself to know the truth, to, to know your true self, to know the truth, because the truth is hidden in everybody. You can go around and believe in what I have to say, but you have to experience it by yourself. So that you can be liberated from all this pain and suffering. Because everybody, everybody is suffering. And this is the illusion. But we didn't come here to suffer. We came here to be happy like a little kid on earth. When you see the purest kid, the purest energy when they come out. So now they're always happy. They're always dancing in joy. And that. You used to be that, but slowly but surely you grow up. So you've been programmed with loss of life. So you get stressed out. You get stressed out by the things that you experience, you know. So now you have to reconnect back to your authentic self just by calm your mind and body. That's why I also say eat more sadvik food. Sadvik, it's Ayurvedic word. Sadvik means the pure diet the holistic health is here means you start to eat more plant-based you start instead of eating lots of um stressed out foods means when you go eat lots of um energy that is not pure when you start to eat lots of energy that is more electric that is more alkaline that is coming straight from nature because it's a god made Everything in nature is God made. So when you consume what is really made for you, like fruits and vegetables, that's why many people are vegetarian right now. So it calms down your mind. It allows you to breathe more. It allows you to breathe more the vital energy, which is pure, which is pure. So now when you start to breathe more, when you start to consume more pure energy, so now you activate the purest part of your true self, which is your heart chakra. If you know what I'm talking about, the chakras, the heart chakra is green. So everything on earth is green and brown. Is not it true? So when you see that green, automatically you heal yourself because you don't only consume food with your mouth. You consume food with your eyes. You consume food with your nose. You consume food with your air. You consume food with your skin. So when you understand that you consume food with your hair. So now when you understand that you let go of all these toxic things. Means that you have to reconnect back to pure oxygen. Look at the things that is beautiful like nature. When you look into the green you automatically... Consume it through your eyes. Listen to music that really heals you. Not music that really takes you down to lower level of energy. That's why I always say, listen to 4, 3, 2 hertz. Highest vibrational frequency on earth. Sometimes I don't listen to music. I just listen to nature because it heals me. So do all everything. In the end of the day, you have to love yourself. In the beginning of the day, you have to love yourself. And all these matter because this is self-love. When you are happy, everything is happy life is perfect anything can happen towards you for you to you but nothing really gonna affect you because the cloud just gonna pass by but we react so fast when something happened we react so fast because our lower chakras are emotional which ones the root chakra, the sacral chakra, they're very emotional, sensitive chakras, the solar plex. So we feel everything in our gut. We feel everything in our heart. Our sh heart chakra is also emotional. So we are human. We are spiritual beings having human experiences. So now as long as we're living in this human body, we have to experience emotional things because the earth room is a school for oneself. We are all one. So now you have to pass it. means you are here to be enlightened. You are here to be liberated from all this emotion, energy and motion. You are here to reconnect back to your higher self, true self. So when you get in line with that, now you are liberated from this room, from this earth. So you don't have to come back to this earth. You don't have to 
come back to this earth. So you have to be liberated from all this illusion, from all these experiences that you ever experienced because you are not your experiences. You are not your emotions. You are not your thoughts. Who are you then? You are beyond all this. You are not your body because your body going to die. Your body going to disappear. This is like a cloth that you are using for some time. One day you have to let go of all this. Your emotions are passing by. They are not permanent. Your thoughts are passing by. They are not permanent. Your body is passing by. It's not permanent. So what is permanent? I'm blowing your mind, right? Yes, of course, because I am golden spiritual teacher right here. So I am experiencing all this from myself because I got lots of questions in my mind since I was a kid. So by I wanted to seek it. I wanted to know all the answers. So I started to dig in within myself. So I'm doing all the self-work and I'm here to share with the all. So you are not none of this. So who are you really? Because you have to let go of all this. This is not permanent. So seek what is permanent. So what is that is permanent? What is that is permanent? You are the soul that is in this body. So seek that soul. Seek who you really are. You are not this body. Body. Some people are like, no, I am this body. Oh my God, I'm going to die one day. But if you if you die, then how do you experience your true self god if you die how can you die how can you die this body is not permanent this body going to disappear some people are knowing the past lives how do you know even past life if you die so we are having many lives means the soul never dies it's immortal the body going to die, your thoughts disappear, your emotion disappear, everything is a temporary. Your father, your mother, your brother, your lover, your kids, everything, none of these are permanent. But the soul within is permanent, like the God is permanent, God's, because God don't die. How can God die? So how can soul die? Soul is one with the higher self, the God itself. So there is, we are one with God. There is no separation. There is no separation. So only mind created all these lies. So when you understand that truth, when you, you are automatically liberated from all the pain and suffering, but you have to stay focused on it. You have to always stay focused on that level of frequency. But what happens? Now you are focused on it because I'm speaking about it. But once you are out of my channel what's gonna happen what's gonna happen is that you are going to get into your old things again and you are going to forget what really is because our mind is very tricky because the illusion takes us the illusion is very beautiful it takes come with me it's a come with me live your life do the, these things this is real this is thing because it seems so real seems so real it's like wow everything is so beautiful all these emotions all these thoughts you know you can travel with your mind anywhere that you love to everything seems so real but we forget that well everything is temporary nothing is really permanent what is permanent is the god within what is permanent the soul that is one with god so seek that be one with that when you are one with that you can always be happy, but it takes lots of self-work to be in line with that level of consciousness, to be in line with that level of frequency, a loss of self-work, you know. So it, it needs daily practice, you know, like yoga, meditation, go for a pure diet, living in nature, living in harmony with God creation. You got me? So every, all these matter, all these matter. So I'm just giving you a few techniques and there are much more than this, you know. So as I'm saying, soul is immortal. It don't die. All right. So the body going to die. So you are going to change this body like you are going to change this cloth. And he, nature speaks the truth. Nature speaks the truth. How? Look at the trees. Trees, like trees gives you fruit. It comes with flower, then it gives you fruit. You eat up those fruits and then all the leaves fall one day. And then it grows again. So it's same with the people's body. When, when we leave, when we get old, this body goes away. Then what's happened? The soul gets another body based on its own karma. Based on its own karma. That's why this is how we can know our past lives this is how we can know our past lives this is how we can know ourselves and people who activate more of their dmt consciousness more of their true self they can remember even much more than this
you know and only through experiences we can know it and there are many spiritual practices that we are doing here in order to remember in order to let go in order to grow in order to expand in order to be liberated and be enlightened because we are here to enlighten ourselves means the soul the body have to submit to the soul you got me and the soul when it's get enlightened it's become god means it's become god consciousness it's become one with god so you don't have to take rebirth after rebirth you can just explode into eternity you know there are much more so i want to share with you all little by little so please share this video and i hope right now you are stress free hey i love you all i love you all so make sure that you are in line with this consciousness always remind yourself this otherwise you can watch my videos i love you all thank you for watching namaste peace and love